Don't miss a beat, join the notification squad by clicking that bell, you'll get notified every time I upload a video, and be sure to join our Discord to talk and get help with your code. Hey everybody, we'd just like to take a moment to thank the guys over at SkySilk who made this video possible. SkySilk is a Linux-based cloud hosting platform built for developers with plans starting at just $2 a month, and they're currently giving every new signup a free $100 credit to try out the platform for 60 days. You can get started in just a few clicks over at SkySilk.com. Hey what's up guys, welcome to episode 4 of the Git series and today I'm going to show you how to push your changes to a, an external website, so to a cloud let's say, and I'm going to use GitHub for this, so you just go to GitHub and you're going to see this page, if you log in, register, whatever, and you just have to create a new repository, clicking this new button, just click it, set a name I'm gonna call it tutorial hit create a repository then here you're gonna see that there's like a little tutorial on how to push changes to GitHub this is for an existing repository and that's what we have so let's go back to our repository here I created a new one with the same files so if I type git status you're gonna see that every file there is not added to the tree yet okay so I added the config files to the git ignore file so cause I don't want them to be on the website here I don't want it to be here so I just went to the git ignore file and type this if you don't know how to do this or don't understand it go back to episode 3 where I where I explain everything okay so after I have committed the changes you're just gonna type git remote add and type a name usually is called origin and here you're gonna type the the URL the this URL just copy and paste it here with shift insert hit enter and if you type git remote you're gonna see that origins right there so to push the changes to our repository here it's as easy as doing git push origin so the name of the repository we added origin and the branch which is master I'm on the branch master right now and put this bigger so just type master and hit enter you're gonna see that everything got loaded correctly so it says new branch master master so if we go here and reload the page you're gonna see that our files are here and none of our config files None of these files are the, in GitHub in the repository. Now let's say I wanna edit this file from GitHub because I don't have the code on my hands right now, so I can just go here and type something and hit save, commit changes, and you see that everything changed there if you go back to our uh, local repository and go to the test file you're gonna see that the changes are not here so to get them you just type get fetch origin hit enter and you're gonna see that everything is downloading every changing changes are downloading and if you type git pull origin origin well yeah you have to specify a branch so you type git pull origin master hit enter you're gonna see that there's this thing 
saying that one file change and is this file and if I close it and reopen it you're gonna see that the something is there so we are now up to date with the remote repository you can also do git pull without the git fetch first because I just did it so to show you that that command exists git fetch just fetch the changes and does nothing to your working tree and git pull it kind of made merges your the local branch with the remote branch that is it for today's video hope you enjoyed it it was kind of short i know um also in the last episode i said that i was going to push changes to our website i meant to cut that out but I forgot so this is the video where I'm going where you're gonna learn how to push the stuff to a website so yeah I ignored that and well hope you enjoyed give a like subscribe and see you tomorrow with the next video